No one's coming to save you. No one owes you anything. It's not someone else's fault that you're not successful or unhappy. And the fact of the matter is, complaining or having envy or ego about other people getting ahead will do nothing for your life except make you miserable, broke, and unhappy. Hey, it's Dean Graziosi, and I, I think it's time we get real. Um, I just hear so many conversations right now about politics and whose fault is it, the last president, the future president, no matter where you live in the world. Is it the, in here is, in the States, is it the Republicans or the Democrats, the liberals or the conservatives? Is it because my mom and dad didn't give me the foundation for success? Is it because the economy shifted? Is it because technology has taken over the world? Man, we come up with so many ways to make it someone else's fault. No one is gonna make it easy for you. No one owes you crap. If you want another level in life, the best thing, the best thing you could do is put all the responsibility on yourself. It's the most liberating thing in the entire world when you're not expecting anything. And maybe even expect that people around you will let you down, that it won't work out. Because listen, in life, in life, there are two types of people. And I think you realize that. Those that complain, those that blame, those that are expecting something, those that want a handout, and those that quietly just take the lumps. Those that quietly have to learn through their own experience. Those that are called dreamers and wishers and, and sometimes capitalists and entrepreneurs, which in today's world has kind of got a bad stigma. Isn't that terrible? The thing that made the country I live in, America, the greatest country in the world, innovative people who are going after their dreams with no restrictions, not held back, put their everything to, uh, on the line, risk all they have to create, uh, to create momentum, to create success, to create jobs for people, to fuel the economy, Sometimes they're the bad people in today's world while there's a group of people waiting for a handout from those that are willing to take the chance. Listen, I'm just going to say it like it is. If you, went to, if you went to college and you worked your tail off, you didn't go out drinking, you didn't go out partying, you didn't stay up all night, you weren't taking you know, Adderall day in the day to go to stay awake and something else at night and then partying till four o'clock in the morning and you put the focus in, you put the energy in, and you got straight A's. Good for you, congratulations, you took ownership. Maybe you're even paying your own college debt. Congratulations for taking responsibility, knowing it's on you that you want a bigger, better future and you're going after it. But what if you did all that? You made those sacrifices, you're paying the bill, and someone else comes in, someone else Someone paid, and I'm not saying it's bad, I do it for my own kids, but you paid, all their college tuition was paid. And they went to every single party. And they partied all night. And they took stuff to stay up and took stuff to go to bed. And, and, and I'm not judging in any ways. This is just a story. They did all that. And because they weren't at class, because they didn't work hard, because they didn't study, because they didn't make the sacrifices you did, they were failing. They were failing. And then at the end of the semester, your professor came and said, I know you guys that have been working hard and got straight A's. I know you've been working hard, but you know this other group with D's and F's, they're really nice and I know they didn't do the work and I know they partied. What, let's do this. Let's give everyone a C plus just so we can make it even. Let's give the participation trophy to everyone because they're here. How the heck would you feel? You would be so pissed that you put in the work, you did the effort, you put in the effort, and all of a sudden you're getting penalized, you're getting penalized, I should say, because you did the work and someone else didn't? Think about this. Isn't it how it is sometimes in life and in business? You go after your dreams. No one knows that you had to go against your family and friends calling you crazy, that you had to raise the money or put money on credit cards, or you had to stay up all night, week after week, trying to figure this out. You had to work on your own personal development because you wanted to keep things moving forward when you were scared to death, when uncertainty was at an all time high, when you felt imposter syndrome about an inch away or a millimeter away from robbing your dreams. You kept going forward 
you failed more than once, you hired the wrong person, you kept moving forward, finally you get momentum, finally you start getting energies, finally you start hiring people, finally you start hiring new people and doing new things and you start fueling the economy, fueling your own life and then you hire more people and have more success and things keep going harder, faster, stronger. And then you get to a certain point and what do people say? Wow, she's so lucky. And why is she having that new car? And why did they move into that new neighborhood? And I can't believe that they joined that country club. Let's penalize them. They're wealthy, they're rich. It's like the modern day tax the rich because they don't pay enough, right? It's like, let's penalize them for the success they've done like it magically came out of thin air. Listen, let's stop being envious and start getting our own. Because if someone else can do it, so can you. Listen, now, when I say this, I don't want you to think I use that silly college analogy. There's some people who struggle. There's some people that work their tail off to try to get good grades and it doesn't work. I watch that with my daughter sometimes, right? My son, it's easy, straight A student. My daughter works really hard to get the grades that she has. It's, it's a little more difficult for her. Those people should be glorified because they're in the hunt. They're working hard. They're trying to figure it out, but they're not blaming someone else. They're not saying, I'm not that smart, so someone needs to fix this. Someone needs to wave a magic wand. We should all get C pluses for doing nothing. That's just not the way the world works. If you like that, there's a lot of countries around the world that pretty much allow you to be equal. How does that work out? How have they been throughout the history of time? Go spend six months there and see if you like it. Or we could say, listen, I'm in control of my own destiny. I have the opportunity to do what I wanna do in life, but you are gonna be judged by the things that you do. If you're envious, envious of someone else making money, but you're binging out on Netflix and you're spending hours and hours on social media and you're sitting around with your friends drinking coffee or having a cocktail complaining about all these other people, Really, are you doing what it takes? This is one of the rare times. Now, I'm recording this while I'm taking a walk. So we heard someone with a little Mexican music or Spanish music, which was awesome. We heard cars going by. But I had a message I want to share with you, share with you today. So I just clicked my phone on and hit record. So whether you're watching this or listening to this audio, maybe some of that's distracting. But I hope you're listening to this message. There is no one coming to save us. There is no one to blame. There is no easy button. If you look at the most successful actors, comedians, uh, business owners, people in a great family with a great body, people that have great personal development, people that are good parents and have incredible kids, none of it came easy. They had to put the work. No one hit a button and made it easy for them. They had to do it. And if you look at the people that it came too easy, do you know, uh, this, is not, this is not in any way disrespect, but do you know many trust fund kids, if you know any of them, that are balanced and happy and excited about what they've accomplished? I don't. But I surely know a lot of people that struggled and fought and were told no and criticized and, and lost everything and had no respect from their family and friends because they thought they were a dreamer and thought they were crazy. I know a lot of them that have made the money they always dreamed of have, have donated more money than anyone could imagine are happy as heck because they went after it and realized they were in control. So maybe this is just a little rant today. Maybe it's just the mood I'm in to say, don't expect anything from anybody. Expect that your government will let you down. Expect your friends might let you down. Expect it. Don't judge them and realize this is on me. If I want more, let me learn what other people have done to get more. If I want more, I might have to change my mindset. I might have to read those books, study the past, model someone who's already been successful. If I want more out of my life, I gotta stop waiting with my hand out and time to get up at 5 a.m. and figure out how to gain the capabilities needed to live the life you want. And if you're happy with where your life is and you don't want more, well then you're probably still not listening to this. You probably got mad at me earlier. And if you are someone that wants more, then let's just do it. You know, seems easy for me to say, right? I, I get to live in the house of my dreams. It's my home behind me. I feel blessed to have that. But I lived in a trailer park as a kid. I lived with my dad in a bathroom for almost a year of our lives where we couldn't afford anything else. 
I got made fun of for having dyslexia. I barely got out of high school. But I had a dream and a goal and I realized no one was coming to save me. I had a mom who worked three jobs to make 90 bucks a week and had nothing and no quality of life and I couldn't wait to retire her. And by 27, I was sending my mom a check every week. I've been sending her a check every week for 20 plus years. I bought my mom a house, I bought my dad a house, I bought my parents their cars. I get to give my, life, my children a life that I could have never imagined with security and strength that they could carry on a legacy. I don't say that to brag. I say that because that's what's possible when you decide it's possible. When we stop waiting for someone to fix it, stop getting sucked into the news, doesn't matter what your politics are. Get sucked into you, get sucked into unleashing that full potential that God or the universe, whatever you believe in, gave you. When you unleash that, you realize you don't need anybody and there's no limits to what you can achieve. That's my quick message. Sorry for all the distractions, but I hope it landed. If I offended anybody, maybe take a moment and really think about what I said. Was it political or was it just reality? You guys have an awesome day.